This is Bumper to Bumper TV. The L.A. Auto Show is where the clean car movement has put down its roots. The annual Green Card Award is presented to the vehicle that is setting a standard for fuel economy and environmental awareness. You get the picture. Well, the 2011 award may also be remembered as the year the Hollywood-style presentation didn't go so well. And the car is the Honda Civic Natural Gas, which I'm proud to say is Green Car Journal's 2012. Wait for it. Oh, by the way, Honda also had some other news at the show. More about that in a moment. The goal of even more efficient and cleaner operating systems played straight to Mazda, which has finalized its divorce from Ford. L.A. was the North American debut of the reworked CX-5 with Skyactiv engine and transmission technology. Yet, like the rest of the industry, they will focus on making proven approaches work even better. According to, the, uh, t to a report published by the Boston Consulting Group, in July 2011, entitled Powering Autos to 2020, where over 90% of vehicles on the road will still have an in internal combustion engine, even with the expansion of hybrid and electric vehicles. Consequently, improving conventional technologies will have the greatest impact in reducing total CO2 emissions. XT. Cadillac is finally committed to a new full-size sedan, the XTS, which will be powered with the V6 engine already in use in the Camaro in an attempt to improve fuel efficiency in the big car segment. It will also offer Q, or Cadillac User Experience, a high-end user interface that helps the brand compete for buyers who want technology along with their luxury. We mentioned Honda earlier, and they rolled out a concept of the electric-powered fit. The gasoline version is already a segment leader in the economy field. The CRV also gets a restyle and engine improvements for the 2013 models. Land Rover pulled the wraps off of a couple of concept versions of a redefined Defender, the iconic vehicle that made the brand a standard in SUV design. Stablemate Jaguar couldn't resist the opportunity to show off the XKR's convertible in typical Hollywood style. The company also teased the world with another look at the CX-16, a hybrid sports car. Infinity has made it official. The JX Luxury crossover will come to market and it will be built in Tennessee, a first for the brand. Hyundai, which has been on a winning streak, rolled out a redesigned upscale sedan, the Azera. That brings it closer to the corporate design language used in their other cars. Volkswagen announced changes to the I'll CC the sedan, but really used the opportunity so as a platform to accept the Motor Trend Car of the Year award for the U.S. built Passat. At Volkswagen, who helped make the Passat the 2012 Motor Trend Car of the Year. Ford premiered the redesigned Escape that looks a lot like its big brother, the Explorer. This will have two four-cylinder engine options, including an EcoBoost model. But at least for now, say goodbye to the hybrid powertrain. Fiat literally came out of the box with the Abarth version of the 500 with tweaked engine, fancy graphics, upgraded wheels and brakes for those who want performance in their very little cars. Lincoln is touting the upgrade it has made to the flagship MKS sedan and the MKT crossover, which will also be marketed to the limousine industry with a stretched version available. And Kia teased the faithful with a look at the GT concept. At this point, it's more of an exercise in design than a real product. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.